Hello and welcome to a new YouTube video. My name is Lucas and for today's video I'm going to share with you guys some shoes that I think everyone needs for the summertime. So if that is of interest to you, stick around, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and let's just jump right into the video. So the first pair of shoes I'm going to talk about is something that probably comes as no surprise to many people, especially if you're kind of active in the fashion scene on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, wherever that may be and that is going to be the Adidas Samba. Now I know I've talked about them a lot in my past videos. I'm sure everyone's familiar with them, everyone knows about them, so I'm not gonna talk about them too much, but in my opinion, they just are the perfect summer shoe. The low cut, sleek silhouette, they come in a plethora of colorways, and for an example of this, just look no further than Pharrell's upcoming collaboration with Human Made. There's like 20 different colorways of them. Now, albeit they are very bright, very loud colorways, but you can also get to classic white and black, black and white, some brown, some beautiful, beautiful colorways in there. And uh, like I said, this is the perfect summer shoe. They go with everything. They go with shorts, they go with jeans, pants, even sweatpants, you can wear them and they look really good. So Adidas Samba, a great summer shoe, and there's no sign of them really slowing down. Um, if you look at the collaborations they have coming up in the future, they got other sporting rich collaborations, like I said, the Pharrell one. Uh, more Wales Bonner collabs to come this spring and summer heading into the fall winter. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any stop to the Samba pumping out in the future. Obviously they've been around for many, many years. They're a timeless silhouette, a classic silhouette, really a staple in my wardrobe the past couple of years. So Adidas Samba, great shoe for the summertime. But before I move on to like the next sneakers or whatever, I'm gonna talk about some alternatives to the Adidas Samba. First of all, sticking with Adidas is gonna be the Gazelles and the Speziales, Speziales, however you want, however you pronounce it, but like more known for indoor soccer, indoor football or skateboarding, but very good shoes, very similar to the Samba, a little bit different colorway, a little bit of a different silhouette. If you look closely, there's some differences there. I don't have any Speziales, but I do have Gazelles. I have the Blondie Gazelles, the black and blue ones, and I love them. I want to get the black and white and green ones that they just released, I think like a week ago. Um, but again, the Speziales, lots of very nice colors, lots of very summer focused colors, bright blues, greens, some nice browns as well. I know they are kind of hard to find, so get your hands on them. I'd recommend picking them up. Um, Sambas, Gazelles, Speziales, anything of the sorts, very good. You definitely can't go wrong. They look amazing, like I said, with everything. Perfect summer shoe. Now moving into some more alternatives that are not Adidas. You have the Nike Kill Shot, if you're more into Nike. Um, but it's a very similar silhouette, low cut, sleek, clean, looks good with pants, shorts, etc. like I've said. Uh, another one is the Puma Suede. I know Puma, not really talked about in the main fashion scene, I guess. They're not really as big as obviously Adidas or Nike, but Puma Suede's very good shoe as well. Very clean, some amazing colorways. See some, see some collabs popping up here and there, but Puma Suede, Nike Kill Shot, and then of course you have more high-end ones, the Margiela replicas. Very good quality, very good material, soft leathers. Look great, I love my pair. They're very comfortable actually, but they are kind of slim, so keep that in mind if you're after a pair. I have the blue, black one, the white pair, classic as well. You can definitely find them secondhand if you're after them as well for a much cheaper price than retail. And then one last alternative that I'll quickly talk about is the Collegium Pillar Court 2. Now, I was lucky enough to get a pair in last week. As you can see here, very, very similar to an Adidas Samba, the gum sole, the thick black stripe here, and some suede around the toe cap, two-tone suede here. And these are amazing. The quality is A1, but that's what you expect with Nick and Collegium. Um, leather, super soft, very buttery, made in Italy. Go focus. But made in Italy, as all of the Collegium shoes are, like I said, quality is amazing. And I've worn these pretty much every day since I've got them in. Very comfortable, very wearable. They go with pretty much everything I've said. But that's just, I think, I think that's the one thing about this kind of silhouette. Very low cut, sleek. Goes with anything, looks good with everything. Especially if you get a white black pair. You can't only go wrong. And I think everyone needs a pair of the shoes in this kind of silhouette for the summertime. My Jason Dale Sambas. The white and black ones are completely beat up. I'm going to hopefully be able to pick up another pair of white Sambas soon, but these will definitely do the job for now. They're amazing, quality is great. Now, the next pair of shoes I think everyone needs is something that I've been talking about for the past couple summers, winters, springs, falls, whatever, and that is loafers. I know that might not be for everybody, but for me, if you're only wearing sneakers or trainers, 
and a loafer is something that you can definitely wear to step up your outfit, elevate the outfit. They look good with pants, they look good with shorts. I tend to wear my own shorts quite often actually, and they look very good. Now personally I have the Doc Martens, Doc Martens Adrian loafers, um, but I would like to step up and elevate to another level. Obviously you got GH Bass, which are great intro level loafers as well. And then if you're looking for a more premium loafer, you can get obviously like those high-end ones like Gucci, whatever, but Blackstock and Weber, very good loafers. I don't have them yet, but I've heard nothing but great things from them. They have a collaboration with Jound coming out or already did come out or something, but great quality. Um, obviously they're gonna be a little bit harder to break in, but if you can get past the initial break-in stage with loafers, they turn out to be quite comfortable. And like I said, you can wear them with trousers, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with shorts. Um, I've seen a lot of people style loafers very, very well. Definitely take some inspiration from Instagram, TikTok, if you don't know how to really wear them. But I definitely recommend trying out loafers, even derbies, um, like Doc Martens 1461s, of course. The first one that come to mind, definitely an intro, intro level shoe into more of that side of things if you're kind of want to expand from sneakers and trainers, etc. So loafers, you definitely can't go wrong with a nice pair of loafers, a little more elevated piece of footwear. Now I'm gonna head back to the trainer slash sneaker side of things and I'm gonna talk about ASICs. Now I remember back when I was kind of getting into shoes and sneakers, ASICs was one of my favorite brands back when the Gelite 3 was really popular, Gelite 5s, you know, Ronnie Feig and Kith were doing their thing with all the Gelite 3s, salmon toes, etc, etc. And I had a, had a few pairs of Gelite 3s and Gelite 5s, but Nowadays, A6 definitely has been coming on strong in the past couple of years, um, due in large part to the Jill Kyano 14, as well as the Kiko collaborations, but I was gonna talk about Jill Kyano 14s. I do have two pairs. I have the Jound ones and the Ice Studio collaboration from last year, I believe. And these shoes are probably the most comfortable pair of shoes that I own. Um, they look, again, they look good with pants, they look good with shorts. And I think in the summer for me, comfort level is definitely something I look, look out for because you know, if, if it's nice outside, you're gonna be spending a lot of time outside, you're gonna to wanna to be wearing comfortable shoes, especially if you're walking around. Even if you're just chilling on like a patio or something, you want some comfortable shoes. So A6 Gel Kyano 14s are amazing. I can't recommend them enough. There's lots of colorways as well, collaborations of course, but the GR colorways are amazing. Um, they are quite a bit pricey, but you can definitely get them on sale from different websites, from the A6 website even, but. So Gel Kyano 14s. One thing I would suggest is, personally for myself, I size down half a size on all my ASICs. Um, I know Justine does as well, so just keep that in mind. But if you're able to go try on a pair, I would definitely recommend doing that. A couple other brands I wanna talk about for sneakers, for more on the trainer side, is Saucony and Mizuno. Now I know Saucony, again, same thing with ASICs, they're kinda popular and they kinda died off, but I feel like they're coming back. A little bit more now, I actually have one pair of Saucony's, I believe they're the Jazz 6000 or something like that, but I don't even know where they are. I think they're at my mom's house, but one thing I know, one thing I do know about Saucony is the materials are always gonna be amazing. The suede, super buttery, super soft. The leathers are gonna be top, top notch as well. And the comfort level, again, similar to ASICs, is gonna be very, very comfortable for those summer days. I know Justine actually has two pairs of Saucony's. She has the a Raised by Wolves collab and a Bodega collab. Again, the collabs that Saucony does, I feel like, are just, executed on another level. The attention to detail and the materials, the textures and everything, just amazing. Saucony, one thing I really admire about Saucony is when they do the collabs, they do it right. They do it exceptionally well. Um, they're not afraid to kind of go outside the box and change a bunch of things. Something that some brands don't really do that well when they do collabs. So Saucony, very good. Definitely recommend checking them out if you're familiar with them. Um, I don't see too many people wearing them, so you're definitely gonna stand out a little bit different if that's what you're into. And another brand I'm gonna quickly talk about is Mizuno. I think more if you're in Europe or Asia or into football, baseball, you're probably more familiar with Mizuno. But if you're in North America, you might not be familiar with them. I know them personally from when I played baseball. I wear Mizuno cleats, but Mizuno, a very good brand, very comfortable shoes as well. And I've seen them kind of coming into the forefront in the fashion scene more starting off this year. They have a Beams collaboration that is set to come out or did come out, I'm not too sure, but those look amazing. Very nice browns, very good for the summer. Again, more of a running shoe kind of silhouette, but very comfortable, I would imagine. For the summer, like I said, crucial for the summer is comfort for me anyways. And then another Mizuno shoe that's a bit more wild, kind of reminds you of like the Nike Ispa series collection they did back in like a couple years ago, but 
It is the Saucony Wave Prophecy. There's a very nice like cream and purple colorway. Now these are a little bit wild. Might not be for everyone. Personally, I don't know if I would wear them, but they do look very cool. So check it out. Mizuno, Saucony, and Asics as well. If you're looking for some trainers, some comfortable walking, running shoes for the summer. And the final pair I'm going to quickly talk about is going to be Mules. Now, similar to loafers, I feel like mules might not be for everybody. Again, I feel like everything I've been talking about this video, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with jeans, trousers, sweatpants even. And mules, just another one of those shoes, if you want to call it a shoe, that can really go with everything, especially the Birkenstock Boston. Obviously, they become very popular for the past couple of years, due in large part to Instagram and TikTok. Um, we've seen lots of collabs, we've seen the Dior collaboration, we've seen Jill Sander collaborations with more high-end fashion houses doing collabs on this shoe that in the past 5-10 years obviously you probably would never see a collaboration like that. I know Ronnie Fag and Kiff have an upcoming collaboration with like a woven toe box. I think it's very nice, I think it's very cool. Very different, I might try and get a pair. But Birkenstock Bostons, if you're looking for a mule, that's definitely more on the casual side. You can wear it with shorts, you can wear them with jeans or whatever you want to wear them with socks, raw dog it if you want. Um, Birkenstock Bostons, I have two pairs and they're incredible for the summer, especially if you're just going out to run errands, going to get a coffee in the morning or whatever, just slip them on, out the door you go, they look good. And then if you want a more elevated pair of mules, Toga Virilis has some very nice ones. Um, for me, some of the pairs I do are a little bit wild with the, the buckles and the clasps and the clips, but not personally, not really my cup of tea, but it's very clean. I've seen a lot of people style them exceptionally well. Um, if you're into that more kind of out there and loud, but it's not really loud, then check out Togo Verlis. A little bit pricier, but I believe it's all made in Portugal. The leather is super nice, super soft, and the details, like I said, are incredible. And similar to Togo Verlis would be our legacy. The Camion Mules, I believe they're called. Just seen as a pair. They're very nice. They're very like sturdy and well-built. The quality is amazing. Leather is very nice. Personally, I don't own any Our Legacy pieces, so I can't really comment too much on them, but they do look very nice. They definitely will elevate your outfit if you're wearing some nice trousers and a nice like cam collar or overshirt. It'll be looking very, very nice. Uh, I can't really talk about the comfort level, unfortunately, so for walking around in the summer, I would imagine mules tend to not be too bad walking around, especially the back's open, your heels and ankles are not gonna get blisters or anything, they're gonna be able to breathe, so that's always a plus. Uh, I think Our Legacy used Bieber mode sole as well, not 100% sure, but if they do, that'll be a mega plus as well. So those are a few pairs of shoes and footwear options that I would recommend for the summer. If you're kind of looking for something a little bit different to what you have, if you want to expand your, your footwear rotation or what have you. But if you guys want a part two, maybe a little more recommendations, I can definitely do that. Or I can put like a shorter video on, a, on, my, on my TikTok or YouTube short or whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.